Just like any other machine, your body needs a power supply. The heart and blood vessels do not create the energy that comes from the food we eat, as well as the energy we have already stored, you know where. The circulatory system, which includes the heart and blood vessels, allow for the delivery of power or energy where it is needed. The blood is carried to every cell in our body through a system of arteries. The blood carries life-sustaining oxygen, energy in the form of fats and sugar, electrolytes such as calcium, potassium, and sodium, and vitamins and minerals. Once the delivery is made, the blood returns through a network of veins where it picks up carbon dioxide, which goes back to the lungs and other waste that is filtered through the kidneys. Oxygen is necessary for life. Without oxygen, our cells will begin to die within minutes. When the heart muscle is deprived of oxygen, the result is a heart attack. If the heart is deprived of oxygen, even for a brief time, the result is chest pain. If brain cells are deprived of oxygen, the result is a stroke. If your arms or legs are deprived of oxygen, the result is a loss of a limb. Electrolytes are supplied to the cells through the blood. These include calcium, potassium, and sodium, and are necessary for proper cell function. The blood also contains essential vitamins and minerals, including iron and vitamins such as A, B, C, D, and K. The sources of energy our body uses includes fats, carbohydrates, and proteins. Lipids are blood fats and consist of cholesterol and triglycerides. Since fat does not dissolve in water and your blood is predominantly made of water, your body wraps these lipids in proteins called lipoproteins. These lipoproteins can then easily travel through the blood like ships at sea. These lipoproteins are broken down into LDL and HDL. Triglycerides are the main type of lipid or fat, a, fa a fatty substance found in the fat tissue of the body and also the main type of fat found in foods. While cholesterol has a much better PR firm, triglycerides are also very important. If too much fat, sugar, or alcohol are consumed, if you do not get enough physical activity, or your body has a hard time breaking down triglycerides, they will increase in the blood, increase in the risk of both heart disease and diabetes. Niacin and fibrates, such as tricor and lopid, will increase the process that breaks these particles down, resulting in lower triglycerides and a higher HDL. Well, let's see what happens to that cheeseburger you had for lunch. The fats are wrapped in proteins. These particles begin as large particles called chylomicrons in VLDL. They are broken down into smaller particles, eventually resulting in LDL. LDL is primarily cholesterol-containing particle. Levels of LDL are regulated by the liver. Smaller, denser LDL particles are more likely to penetrate the inner lining of the blood vessel called the endothelium, resulting in the formation of a blockage. LDL particles are taken up by the LDL receptor in the liver. Statin medications will increase the LDL receptor activity. The role of HDL is to remove cholesterol and triglycerides and other debris from the blood and blood vessels. They kind of work like the game Pac-Man, where the guy goes around grab gobbling up all the particles. Another way to look at it is to think of HDL as the garbage collector. HDL fills up its truck and brings it back to the dump, in this case the liver. If there are not enough HDL, or if your HDLs do not work very well, kind of like the garbage collector who drove around all day but did not fill up the truck, the risk of heart disease increases. Ideally, we all use the energy contained in the blood. The excess energy is stored, you guessed it, in the fat cells. There are certain hormones and enzymes that are necessary for this process to work properly. Insulin, for example, is necessary to allow glucose into the cell, kind of like a lock and key. If too much saturated fat and cholesterol are consumed, or if the liver is unable to take up the LDL through the LDL receptor, the LDL levels in the blood will increase. If the energy is not used and the fat cells are full, cholesterol, triglycerides, and glucose can back up in the blood, and it can get very crowded in there. 
As you can see, there are a lot of particles in there, including LP little a, HSCRP, homocysteine, and LP PLA2. In addition to the problems of too many particles, there can also be problems in the vessels themselves, including inflammation, calcium deposits, and endothelial dysfunction. These will be discussed more in detail in the checking section. What do we do with the waste that we have um, in store? You're right, you got it right, we bury it. In this case, we bury it in the blood vessels, resulting in the formation of plaque or a blockage. If our landfill becomes unstable because of the toxic particles contained in it, it will explode, resulting in a heart attack or a stroke.